And now Ian Lum joins us. Ian, what a beautiful weekend. Oh, it was a beautiful weekend, Paige. And Saturday, although a little scary at times with that severe thunderstorm that rolled through, but look at the high temperatures here today. We see 72 in Duluth, but upper 60s to lower 70s around much of the region. 73 was our high for most of the areas in the Twin Ports today. But if we take a look at some of this weather video, we had a little bike competition going on and some people were just out enjoying the day, some spectators as well. Let's put some temperatures on top of that and show you 57 at the airport right now, a little warmer down by the lake, but notice some of these temperatures in the 40s and they will continue to go lower. 2013 weather calendar, I do have some great pictures I will show you after the break, so make sure you stick around because you don't want to miss them. All right, thank you so much, Ian. Beautiful day today, is that going to continue? Beautiful day today, we'll continue tomorrow and even a warm up is on the way, but I do have some great pictures that I will show you right after the break and trust me, you'll want to see these. And as I hyped up before the break, I do have two very great pictures to show you. This one was sent in by Holly Pillsbury and this was at Isle Royal National Park at Belle Isle. And uh, just a great shot there of the sunrise, but then Here's a great one sent in by Alyssa Rapp. This is called Once in a Lifetime, or that's what I call it, because look at that shot. I'm, if you can't see what's in the middle of the screen right now, it's, it's pretty romantic. And, and like I said, I don't think too many people get to see a heart in the sky. Right now, we take a look at what's going on outside. We see clear skies, 57 degrees, with a light wind out of the north at 5 miles an hour. Around the region, though, check out these dew points. This is what I want to show you, because this will set up the possibility of some frost tonight. So we see 41 is our dew point, and up north we're looking at lower 40s as well. And look at the change over the past 24 hours. So we're seeing double digit dew point changes, and that means that there's a lot less moisture in the atmosphere. So when we get into tonight, there's a better chance of the possibility of some frost, and that will be combined with the fact that we're having very light winds out there, if any at all. So a lot of goose eggs across the board, and we're seeing zeros. But again, some light winds near the tip of the lake. However, like I said, the other thing that it could possibly bring as well is we could see some fog develop because these temperatures are also very close to our dew points around the area. But most of the area where we should see fog is going to be from north of Duluth all the way out to Orr and all the way to about Grand Marais, although we could see some patchy frost down in northern Wisconsin. But we take a look back at the temperatures uh, just to the west here, and we notice that they're quite a bit warmer for this time of night. And even though right here we have a little Canadian cool air still sitting over northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, and the Arrowhead of Minnesota, that will quickly zoom out of the region as we start to go into the work week. And we're going to see a lot of this warmer air out to the west slowly start to make its way into our neck of the woods. If we look at what's going on outside right now, well, we, again, we have that area of Canadian high pressure, and that is helping to keep us high and dry. But if we put this into motion for the next 24 hours, like I said, we have that high pressure sitting over Canada right now, and that's going to help keep our nights a little cooler. But as we put this into motion, we'll see it actually amplifies and it gets a little bigger. And when it does that, it means we're going to have a lack of cloud cover tonight. Some morning clouds might start to pop into the area, but those will be very high in nature and they'll be up there, those cirrus clouds, those wispy looking clouds that we see. But other than that, it looks like Monday is going to be another very nice day on tap with again high pressure dominating the region. We'll get the rest of your forecast in a minute, but oh, first a word from tonight's weather sponsor, Bonner Eye Clinic. If your local optometrist says you have cataracts, what do you do next? Hi, I'm Dr. Timothy Bonner of the Bonner Eye Clinic. My partner, Dr. Jerry Mariano and I are Iron Range eye surgeons who have performed many thousands of cataract surgeries. We can help you make the right choices for your lifestyle that will meet your visual needs for years to come. After your cataract surgery is complete, Dr. Mariano and I will work with your optometrist to keep you doing the things you love. Temperatures hanging in the upper 30s to lower 40s around the region. Again, some frost pa possible in some low-lying areas and fog as well. In Wisconsin, some cool temperatures persist. Very light winds out there. And here in the Twin Ports, 45 degrees going into tomorrow, 73 warmer by the lake but look at these temperatures around the region as well in the mid 70s wherever we go and in wisconsin as well it's the same story so it's going to shape up to be a very nice day but again a steamy midweek is possible we see on wednesday with 82 already and that will continue throughout the rest of the work week but if we take a look we start to see some rain 
pop up on the seven day. And it looks like we could have a, a little interesting setup for later in the work week here. Uh, maybe a little bit more rain as possible. It's too early to tell, but there are some pretty good chances as we go later in the work week. First part will be nice. Second part might be a little interesting, so we'll have to keep an eye on it and let you know. At least the temperatures look pretty warm still. Our summer's not over yet. Warm, but it will be a little muggy too, so don't put those uh, muscle shirts away quite yet. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have any of those. Thanks, Ian. <laughs>